The Doogie S50, built by Shenzhen-based company Doogie, is a fully rugged phone, meaning water, dust and more importantly shockproof, that was released in late 2017. Compared to most rugged phones, it's clear that Doogie did their best to appeal to fashion-conscious customers. The phone has a sleek design considering its hefty battery and ruggedized exterior. Side bezels are relatively small without risking direct exposure to the ground if impacted. It provides good grip, making it unlikely to slip out of your hand while on adventures, unlike typical mainstream designs. It comes in two industrial-themed flavors called Mineral Black and Fire Orange. Sporting a 5.7-inch IPS display, a whopping 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage, it is truly great value for money, as we'll see shortly. It comes with dual SIM capability, something I personally find sorely missing from most mainstream manufacturer offerings. It also supports microSD card, although at the cost of the standby SIM card, which is fairly common amongst most Chinese manufactured phones. But hey, at least it offers expandable storage, a feature that is less and less common these days, sadly. Packing four cameras, a 16 megapixel and a 13 megapixel at the back, and another 16 and 8 megapixel at the front, it offers surprising picture quality for a phone in this price range. And it comes with beautify options built in, which is of course what no good selfie-friendly phone can do without these days. Furthermore, it features most of the common goodies one would expect from a quality smartphone in 2018, such as a fingerprint scanner, 5 GHz AC Wi-Fi, optional fingerprint and face unlock. Like so. There we go. Another nice feature is that it runs near stock Android 7.1, meaning no bloatware and efficient memory utilization. However, it does offer a few customization features not normally found in stock Android. No NFC though, which may or may not disappoint some users. Last but definitely not least, it sports a 5180mAh battery that even supports reverse charging over an OTG cable, making it a power bank to boot. Note that because of the deeply embedded micro USB socket, that regular off the shelf cables probably won't work. Better hang on to the one it comes with. The screen, while offering good clarity and readability, operates at 1440 720p. Decent for a rugged phone, but definitely less than what you might expect from a flagship phone. Again, very fair considering this phone's price. Performance wise, the Helio P23 SoC feels similar to a Snapdragon 820, which is more than enough for most applications and games, although not on par with current high-end phones. But in all honesty, for most users out there, it should be more than enough. A quick demo of some heavy-ish games. And a quick demo of movie playback. As we go through this Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Good playback. Good color fidelity. Fast sort of time. Nice. Screen color and fidelity are good, but the speakers are a bit iffy especially for a rugged phone where extreme decibel levels are the norm, but still fair for its intended use. On the whole, this phone is as they say, life-proof, or at least a lot more so than most phones out there. It's a clever and sleek balance between being presentable while focusing mainly on durability and long-term operation. Decent performance, packed with lots of goodies and features. For this price, it's hard to beat, as most flagship phones come in at three or even four times its price. Personally, the lack of a removable battery, the iffy speakers, and the requirement for an elongated micro USB cable are what I find the least appealing about this phone. But the build quality, performance, and built in features more than make up for it, especially at this price. You should expect to pick up a Doogie S50 between 220 and 230 US dollars, depending on where you source it from. Considering that the cheapest iPhone comes in at 350 while flagship iPhones come in at 1000 this phone is a real bargain, especially considering its rugged design.